it's important to understand the legal issues of listening in to network traffic. It may be that you work at a company that prohibits employees from listening into network traffic, and you may require a special explicit document allowing you to listen in on that traffic for the purposes of troubleshooting, optimization, application analysis, and security. You may also find that there are laws within your country that prohibit interception of traffic. For example, in the United States, we have the Electronic Communications and Privacy Act, which people refer to as the Wiretap Act. This prohibits intentional or attempted interception of communications such as wire, oral, or electronic communications. So make sure you cover yourself first and get the permissions required to listen in on the traffic before you get yourself in trouble. There are also some security issues regarding use of a network analyzer. You may want to define a policy within your company regarding traffic capture. So perhaps you have a, an IT department that has several levels inside of that department. You may want to state that someone has to be at least a level two before they can capture network traffic. When you capture the traffic on your network, make sure you secure those trace files. In Wireshark, we, we can reassemble all types of traffic that we've captured. So make sure that you don't allow those files to go outside the company on laptops. In addition, be aware of the legal issues relating to PII, which is personally identifiable information. You may find that laws like HIPAA prevent that information from going outside the company. You may also be interested in protecting your network against unwanted sniffers. Now that would include things such as when you have a conference room and in that conference room you have network ports sitting there so that when a presentation is being made, if the attendees need connection to the network, if you're not using that conference room and you don't need network connectivity provided, then block those ports. On the access points, make sure that you have strong passwords that will prevent other people from getting into your wireless network. In the next section, we'll take a look at the needle in the haystack issue.